You are listening to From Ring to Veil. I'm Shannon. And I'm Kim. And we are your wedding planning gurus. We take the stress out and put the fun back into wedding planning. Planning Your Beach Wedding, episode number 127. Today we're taking it to the beach. I love the beach. (laughs) The beach is my happy place. I may not look good in a bathing suit. I don't really care because I love the beach. I love to hear the waves. They relax. Does it matter what kind of beach or where? No. Any kind? Any kind. I even like Texas beaches in which they're not all, you know, nice and blue water and stuff like that. I just like being near water. Okay. Okay. So, but like I've been to Port Aransas a couple times. Yeah. It's super windy. So you're probably not going to want to have a beach wedding there. Well, all of you, you've got to realize most beaches are going to be windy. They are windy, but that one always seemed extremely windy. (laughs) I don't know if it's the position of where it is or whatever, but that one is extremely. Mm. But yes, I mean, you're going to get wind. Of course. I mean, look, sand dunes. What are those from? (laughs) You know, but there's ways to make it work. And hopefully we will give you some of those ways in this episode. (laughs) So beaches are sandy. Like you said, it's windy. I would, my advice on that would have the ceremony on the beach. Yes. Would you have your reception on the beach? Probably not. I would not. (laughs) I don't want sand in my food. Yes. And wind blowing everything all around. (laughs) Unless there is a protected area. Yeah. Maybe. But still, I mean, I don't know about you, but Texas, Florida, Gulf Coast beaches, things like that, they have these big, huge sand flies. Oh, come. yeah. And I... Bleh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, if they have something like a deck where you can have your reception on that's yes. protected or has, you know, citronella stuff all the way around, even though it doesn't smell really good, but it'll protect your food to keep all the, the creepy crawlies and, out. Mm-hmm. You can do that. But I would not have my reception on the beach. Maybe maybe a dance floor. Oh, yeah. You know, you can have your dinner and all the toast and everything like that. Get all of that out of the way and then mm-hmm. go party on the beach on the dance floor. That would be great. But I would not eat. Yeah. On the, I agree. On the beach. I agree. And it just, eh, I don't know. It just, sometimes beach kind of smell different. <laughs> Fishy. It might be unappetizing for some people. Yeah, because you know, I don't like fish, so... I love the beach. Don't like fish. Don't like seafood that much. I mean, I'll eat a few, but not very much. Anyway. (laughs) Don't let one touch me while I'm in the water either. (laughs) That's another story. All right. Next, on to dresses. I would suggest not a big dress. Yeah. You don't want to wear a big ball gown and the wind coming underneath it and go whoop. Yeah. For one, yes. See all your little skivvies. Yeah. Or your barely there skivvies. I mean, can you just imagine trying to walk down the aisle in that big dress in the sand? <laughs> that is just too much. Yeah, it's too and much. Talking about sand and walking, <laughs> it's a good time to go barefoot. Yeah. They have awesome foot jewelry now that mm-hmm. you can put around your feet that'll you know, that'll mimic sand sandals. Unless the sand's really hot, then you yeah. might want to have some kind of but I mean sole on it. You don't really want heels. No. Absolutely not. That's that's like, no. Yeah. I mean, you can't even really wear sneakers because you sink in the sand. And unless they have some kind of walkway, unless they put yeah, some kind of you know, protective walkway, you still wouldn't want heels. But at least you could have sole shoes like yes. sneakers or flip flops. Hey, flip flops. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm against flip flops. So no. <laughs> I like flip flops. But you're right. Like the foot jewelry and stuff. Mm-hmm. That I mean... I don't like feet anyway, but <laughs> if you're putting some jewelry on it, that would be great. Yeah, I mean, you're in the sand. Mm-hmm. It's kind of hard to wear some Louboutins, you know, while you're walking in the sand. And you wouldn't want to do that anyway. <laughs> At least I hope not. <sighs> anyway. And right. I would also suggest no veil. Yeah, no veil. It's going to blow around. Mm-mm. And it's going to, if it's a long veil, it's going to get carried away. Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine? <laughs> or get stuck in the up position and over the officiant and mm-hmm. your groom. In the arch and... or whatever it is up there. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get to the arch in a minute. <laughs> yeah, you know, that would be, it's cool for pictures. Yeah. But 
for the ceremony, just, just you know, just do some pretty flowers. We suggest and updos and flowers in yeah. your hair, or you know, flowers of course, and jewelry or you know, combs, yeah. nice yeah. decorative combs, Absolutely. and things like that. So. Absolutely. And for the guys, let them go in form in informal, just. Just no like stuffy suits yeah, and like bow ties. Yeah, linen pants and, and shirts and make them roll them up and go barefoot too. Well, what about jorts or something? <laughs> cargo <laughs> shorts. <laughs> Please don't wear jorts. I don't mind the cargos. Yeah. I mean, if it's a really informal wedding, if yeah. you're not wearing a long dress or something mm-hmm. like that, you're just wearing maybe a white sundress. Just, you know, cargo shorts and a linen shirt. That's great. But... If you're wearing a long dress and you're going to look, you know, semi-formal, yeah. he needs to at least have pants yeah. on. <laughs> no Speedos. <laughs> no cotton. <God. laughs> the banana hammocks. Uh, no thanks. Anyway. So they can go informal, but just don't take it too far. Yeah, don't take it to the jorts. No jorts. Hashtag no jorts. Okay. <laughs> My what husband are- wears jorts and I kid him all the time. That's all he wears in the summer. Well, I can't get him into anything else. And it some just, of us like our denim. It drives me nuts. So, <laughs> hashtag no shorts. What are the, okay, so there's jeggings, but what if you're wearing shorts jeggings? What are those called? Ew. <laughs> That's what they're called. <laughs> Ew. Uh, all right. Now, on, on, on to the next topic. Check out the beach rules. Is it open to the public or is it not open to the public? Do you have to have permission to... Have a ceremony there or Most not. public beaches, you are going to have to have permission because mm-hmm. most of them are run either by the city, the county, or the state, right. depending on if they're like a national park or a state park. Because right. like there's a lot of state parks run in in Washington and some of them are beach land. Mm-hmm. And of course, some people own parts of the beach. Right. You know, so if they're, especially if there's a place you really like, you might, you know, talk to those, the people that own it, whose house is sitting right there. Um, Hawaii public beaches are Hawaii beaches are all public from what, what we can uh, tell. Mm-hmm. So you would definitely have to get permission because then again, it's public. Anybody can sit anywhere. Right. If you're trying to have a ceremony and, and the family next to you just pops up their tent and you know, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> and the kids are running around. Yeah, you know, exactly. Um, usually chairs are not allowed. So that's why you got to get uh, yeah. the information about the, the beach that you want. So just do a little research and preparation on that. Also, prepare your guest for a beach wedding. Like we said, a lot of beaches have like flies Mm -hmm. and mosquitoes Mm -hmm. and... And sun. Yes. So, I mean, you have welcome bags. I know we're, we're... we are anti favors, mm-hmm. but this is totally different. Yes, this is. Because usually your beach wedding's not going to have 20,000 people in it or 200 right. people. So right. have welcome bags with bug spray, sunscreen, water, maybe, you know, put a little sunglasses in there. Flip flops. See? Flip flops. <laughs> or some Harachi sandals or something. Yeah. Leave, your san- leave your shoes here. Put on the flip flops. Mm-hmm. Have a big barrel of flip flops into various sizes. Mm-hmm. You can go get them at Old Navy for a dollar on their dollar flip flop sale. And that's what's commonly called a shoe station. Yeah. I would say just to protect your people's, your guests' shoes, mm-hmm. you know. Because, you, you know, go. there's one, there's always going to be one person dressed to the nines and mm-hmm. have heels on. <laughs> just have that option for them. <laughs> and, again, if you're preparing them, they should know. Mm-hmm. But, like I said, somebody's going to just do what they want to do. <laughs> Provide some kind of shade. Tent. Like coverings, some kind mm-hmm. of something, a hats, umbrellas, you know that kind of thing, and have ref- have a refreshment station with water, lemonade, maybe ice, mm-hmm. iced tea. Hello, yeah. of course, iced tea. Uh, wooden benches they withstand ocean breezes because your chairs will fall over mm-hmm. with the if it's really windy, especially those light ones. Yeah. They're most all of them are really light. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, that's good, you know, normally, but not if you're sitting at a windy beach. Right. You need to prepare for the wind, as we said. Your hair, your arbor, if you're having an arbor down on the beach, it Mm -hmm. needs to be well anchored. And I would suggest not putting flowy, gauzy fabric on it. Because it's like your veil, Yeah, it'll be flying everywhere. If you have to, wrap it around the poles. Yes, 
and then anchor it with something with a bag of sand, some rocks, something at the bottom. So it Stakes doesn't fly. somehow. Yeah. Um, your chairs. Yes. Like we said, do benches and do benches or have them anchored somehow. I mean, Hey, you could do beach chairs. If you really want to go oh informal. God, could you imagine <laughs> sitting on a low beach chair trying to get up? I can barely get up in them now. What are you talking about? Um, flowers. Mm-hmm. This is scary. <laughs> no tall arrangements. I Ooh. mean, even in a, if you're having a normal outdoor setting, if there's lots of wind, mm-hmm. you don't want tall arrangements because then you'll have tall arrangements that tip over. Even break. if they're well anchored because of the wind's strong and they'll break and you'll have glass, water, and flowers everywhere. So I would just suggest no tall arrangements. Low, no. Lower to the ground as you can. Right. And, you know, for your tables as well if they're on a deck. You obviously love listening to podcasts. Well, have you tried an audiobook? Hi, I'm Kim and I am an audiobook listener. It's actually my preferred way to, quote unquote, read. And if you haven't tried listening to one yet, Go to www.fromringtoveil.com slash free book to get a free audiobook from Audible. I may have just given you your new obsession. No aisle pedals. They yeah. will not yeah. stay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, use, you're on the beach, use palm fronds. Or if you're on a Washington beach, use driftwood. Yeah. You know, use something that is, if you're on a tropical lo- location, Palm fronds are awesome. Mm-hmm. Just line them up. Maybe put a rock every so often so they right. won't fly away. Right. Just no aisle petals because they're not going to stay. Right. Even if you have a, a flower girl dropping them, they're yeah. just going to yeah. slap somebody in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Most likely. All right. We suggest daytime ceremonies on on beach weddings. I know it's really romantic, but when it gets dark, it gets dark. It gets dark. dark. <laughs> And it, you can't see anything. Unless you have a fire lit path somewhere. True. But, and but you still. want, but if you want, I mean, there is still a little bit of daylight after sunset. So, I mean, if you're going to have a before sunset wedding and then have your pictures, you're going to want your pictures at sunset anyway. Yes, absolutely. So you need to have it a little bit before your ceremony, a little bit before sunset. So you can get done to take those sunset pictures. That's right. And promise you, you want sunset sunset pictures, especially Absolutely. in Hawaii or something. Like oh that. yeah, definitely. Especially on the West Coast, they're awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, have a backup plan if you're having a beach ceremony in a resort location. Have a backup plan because you never know if it's going to rain. Yes, or if there's a storm right. at sea and, and whatever it is. I would also say check the tide yeah. calendar. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Because if the tide comes in and your chairs are there, they're going to be carried out to sea. Yes. Along with your guests, if right. you're not careful. Or your flowers or your armor or whatever. <laughs> so, yes, check check the tides. We suggest having a sound system. Absolutely. Even you know if it's, it's hard to hear out yeah, there. You're, there's wind. There's waves. If you have a mic somewhere. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Use it. Upscale porta potties. If you're in a remote location beach, mm-hmm. this is a necessity. A yeah, you have to to budget for that. And we've seen some pretty cute ones. Yeah, there's some that are really nice. Yeah. Again, upscale. Yeah, not not the blue, you know, the blue ones that you can tip over. <laughs> Those are gross. <laughs> the honey pots. Yeah. All right. So now let's move on to another part of the beach wedding. It, for decor, of course, we always love to talk about decor. Let's let's get into those ideas. Um, yes, you always have the typical beach wedding. You can go that way if you want to. But these are maybe <laughs> some little other different ideas for you to think about. Hmm. We love lights. Yes. We like the Edison bulb lights and things like that. Mm-hmm. String lights. All kinds. We like lights. It, they're good at your reception if you're having it at night. You can see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They'll help you see. Number one. They'll set the ambiance. Romantic. So have lights. Instead of seashells. <laughs> because we all know that's the kitschy beach yeah. wedding thing. And what? Silver, or not silver dollars. Uh, dollar. <laughs> sand dollars. Sand dollars and starfish and rope. and <laughs> Yeah. Those are nice too. And you can do that. Absolutely. If, that's, if you love that look, do it. But if you... 
want a beach wedding without that kind of mm. kitschy look. We suggest touches of blue. All kinds. All kinds. Gray blues, blue blues, turquoise blues, mm-hmm. you know, all kinds of blues. We love blue. I mean, that just makes sense while you're out there. Mm-hmm. Even, yeah, even like that greenish, mm, greenish blue, I guess. It's yeah. not turquoise, but in, yeah. that, in that realm. Or go, go for a whole nother color, like greens, like sage. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, because like you said, uh, the fronds are going to be a green color. Mm-hmm. So use that kind of as your palette. Or if you're on a Washington beach, there's always big, tall trees around. Oh, yeah. So, you know, use, add that. Look at your location. If you are in a tropical beach, make it a tropical affair. Yes. If you are on a Washington beach, make it rocky. Make it natural. Mm-hmm. Greens and grays and, oh, anyway, driftwood. Yeah. <laughs> Sand and rock. See, the ideas are coming. Yeah. See, we suggest LED candles if you're having candles on your table. Absolutely. Because, you know, wind, flames, don't mix. Yeah. Handheld fans. Yeah, that that would be that would be a good that would be a gift. favor. <laughs> well, I'd say in your welcome gift basket yeah. or or bag or have them on the table. Like, yeah, that's you know, true. Thank you for coming. Please keep cool. Yes. Uh, arbors with lights instead of a bunch of flowers. Although we love flowers, just think <laughs> if so. Usually, you would set up the arbor to where all the guests are facing the ocean, right, or right. the 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 beach mm-hmm. or the water. And then the arbor is there and you're standing under it. So the wind is usually coming toward you. So all those floral pieces up there are going to be blown towards the guest (laughs) if something happens. (laughs) So just keep it light with lights. With, like you said, wrap the... the... Unless it's daytime, then you don't really need lights. True, yeah. But you could do colored lights and that might be kind of fun. We love fire pits. Mm -hmm. Have fire pit stations. Have a s'more station with a fire pit. Or if you're on a Washington beach, have a bonfire. Yep, bonfire. Can serve hot dogs. No, I'm just kidding. (laughs) No. 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 S'mores good. S'mores S'mores are good. good. Now, we mentioned foot jewelry. Mm -hmm. Beautiful stuff. There's tons of stuff out there. Look, check Etsy. Yeah. And for your tabletop decor, we already said no tall arrangements. We also think you should keep it simple. Mm Mm-hmm. I mean, cost effective, a glass dish with sand, maybe some sea glass. We love sea glass. Yes. Of course, you know, you can go kitschy with, you know, the seashells and sand dollars and starfish. Yes. You can put, use palm fronds or monstera leaves. I can give you all kinds of little tropical leaves to use. Some of them are huge. Have them line your tables if you're having farm tables. Mm -hmm. Make them a runner. Just place them on there. They don't have to be tied together. Just place them on there and put your candles around them and and your rocks or whatever else. Driftwood. Well, driftwood would be (sighs) good good with monstera leaves and palm fronds, I guess. I don't know. I think (laughs) think, uh, driftwood goes with anything. (laughs) Sand dollar escort cards. Now, if you want to bring some of the actual kitschy beach stuff in there, you could you could do that. Lanterns. Mm-hmm. You could you could, like you said, put your palm fronds on the table, and then you can have lanterns down yeah. the middle. Oh, you could do so much cute stuff. Of course, we've said driftwood. I don't know how many times in this episode. <laughs> um, can you tell we like it? <laughs> for your sign in table? Maybe you do kind of a message in the bottle theme. Mm -hmm. I have a huge either wine bottle or, you know, some kind of other type of bottle with a large neck or something like that. Have pieces of paper laid out with pens and they can write, you know, Mm -hmm. good wish messages and sign their names and put it in the bottle. That's right. Or you can use little messages in the bottle just for decorations, you know, Mm -hmm. because, I mean, if you think about what that means, Mm -hmm. where you find them right there (laughs) on the beach, usually. I've not found one yet. No, I have not. Sea glass. We love sea glass. I mean... Real sea glass. Yeah. How, how beautiful is it? And just think of what that means. That It's a piece of glass that's been tumbled by the ocean and the floor and the rocks. And uh, mm. and you can just put those everywhere. Yeah. Use them for anything. Hanging uh, on the table, mm-hmm. earrings, whatever. <laughs> if you're going tropical and you're in Hawaii, pineapples are awesome. And they're pretty hot right now. Yeah. I'm seeing them everywhere. I know. 
They also mean, I think they mean good wishes. Good and luck. I think, good yeah. luck and things like that. Cut the top off, core them out, and you can put your flowers in there. That's true. You don't want to put your flowers in there too soon because the ethylene gas will get you the flowers and kill them. Mm -hmm. But, you know, like design your flowers and then right before the reception, plop them in yeah. the open. Pineapple. You could even do a very small vase inside of yeah. them. And then if you, especially if you're only doing a few, mm -hmm. a few floral. Or pieces. have, you know, make them full pineapples for your centerpieces. True. I'll do tropical fruit. Mm -hmm. Do mangoes and pineapples and coconuts. And oh, yeah. That would be cute. And yeah. Passion fruits. Mm. Yeah. And then Dragon coconuts, fruit. you can do the same thing. Yeah. Get the shells and, you know, get the meat out, of yeah. course. Make sure you have somebody else do that. <laughs> <laughs> They're well, hard. Yeah, of course. Yeah. You've got to really <laughs> have some good tools to get in those things. But but I think you can find them so many places. Yeah. And, and I've seen them, you know, like where they make candles out of them mm -hmm. they pour the wax in there so i mean you can use i mean i wouldn't say you do a coconut bra but you know you could if you wanted to you're having a luau <laughs> yeah okay. even i don't think they even do that but <laughs> <laughs> anyway hopefully these are some different ideas that maybe you didn't think about um we do have a pinterest page for this so we will put a link to that in the show notes which would be from ringtavale.com slash 129 check those out you can click on that link right there uh again if you'd like to support us we do have a patreon page we have some awesome uh rewards, rewards. for a ten dollar donation you will get a 20 minute skype conversation with me and shannon or either one of us mm -hmm. and you can ask us anything about wedding planning we'll give you our advice and our help. opinions <laughs> our advice and help <laughs> and if we don't know we can absolutely point you in the right way but that's for the the chat so if you'd like to have a chat with us go to our patreon page which is from ring slash give and check out those remember you can always reach us by emailing us at info at from ring .com or hashtag from ring on twitter instagram and messages on facebook yeah subscribe to the podcast anywhere you listen to podcasts and if you don't find us let us know we got to know if we're not there. So until next time, no stress, no worries. Keep calm and listen on. Thank you for listening to our podcast. You can find us on Facebook, From Ring to Veil, on Twitter, at From Ring to Veil, and on our website, fromringtoveil.com. Music provided by bensound.com. <laughs>